What is up, fish fam? I'm Dan from Machine Aquatics, best intro ever. And today we're talking about a side of cichlid aggression that a lot of people think when they think fighting in cichlids, it's the lip locking. And I'm today I'm going to explain what it is and why it's done. If you don't know what lip locking is between cichlids, what they do is they lock their lips together. One grabs the lower, the other grabs the upper, or they can both grab the lower, both grab the upper, and they basically try to swim backwards. Now, um, basically, what this is, all this is, is a fight over dominance. The strongest fish is the one who can pull the other fish, the opponent, backwards the farthest. That's the fish who wins. Because in the tank, the strongest fish always rules the tank. It's always the leader, and they will constantly fight over dominance if you have a fish like a red devil and a jag, a jag and a jack dempsey, a jag and, or well, a jack dempsey and a midas. It can be any really aggressive cichlid. They will always do this, and whichever stronger always comes out on top. Now, if we're going to talk about red devil and jaguar cichlid aggression, if you guys want that video, tell me down below. But today we're talking about lip locking. Now I know what you hear a lot when you talk about you and your buddy cichlids fighting. My fish, my cichlid will rip the face off of yours if they lip lock. That's not how it works. That's not their objective. Their objective is less in crushing the mouth, but it's more in holding it there and pulling backwards, not trying to pull away from the other fish, but trying to pull the other fish backwards. So if you ever hear anyone say that, say, you're incorrect. So Daniel, if a fish is trying to kill another fish, what does it do? Not lip locking. What it does is it goes for the head, the eyes, and the sides of the fish, and it tries biting them there and pushing them around right there, and just overall attacking it. That's what happened with my Oscar and my Jag that my Oscar went to lip lock with my Jag, and that's not what my Jag wanted, so it went and attacked the Oscar and eventually killed the Oscar. So Daniel, if they're lip locking, should I remove one of the fish? No, if they're lip locking, believe it or not, it's actually a good sign because it means they're establishing dominance. And whatever fish ends up being dominant, it rules the tank. And if they were actually aggression fighting to kill each other, then, yeah, you remove them. And I just explained how aggression fighting works. All sizes of cichlids do this. It doesn't um, directly only happen with larger cichlids like I was explaining. Epistogrammas do it. Rams do it. Um, Akaras do it. Convicts do it. Firemouth do it. Um, even checkerboard cichlids will. If you don't know what checkerboards are, look them up. They're awesome. I want one. If I had a 20 gallon, this would be going in there. Pistogramma, checkerboard cichlid, and a couple of rams. That's my 20 gallons. And some cardinal tetras. Makes me want a 20 gallon now. I wonder if... No, I don't want to get rid of the 3 gallon. It's got my puffer in it. That's not the topic of today's video. Basically, everyone, that is lip locking. Leave a like down below if you liked it. And leave your comments down below on what video I should do next and if I should live stream tonight. Tonight's one of my live streaming nights. Should I still do it even though I filmed a video? Tell me down below. Share this with whoever likes fish. I'm trying to hit that 400 mark. I've been going down lately. So share it with your friends that like fish. If they have any questions, tell them to come ask me and hit that subscribe button while they're there. And make sure you hit that bell so you can be notified and be the first person there. When I hit 400 subscribers, my 400th is getting a shout out so get hit all right anyway everyone thanks so, so thank you all so much for tuning in i'll see you all in the next one fish on